tap you on your hip a little bit and let it relax. The hip, right, just so she doesn't compensate. Oh, that's beautiful. Hello, Baltimore. It's been a while, but it's uh, Dr. Jeff Kalstein with Kalstein Chiropractic, your Baltimore area chiropractor. And I have uh, Anne Marie with us today. And Anne started with us on August 22nd, right? Yes. And um, who referred you in? My daughter in law, Eliza Mullen, referred me here. She had had a lot of success with sciatic well, problems. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and to, what, what brought you in originally? Uh, I was having tremendous pain all summer down my left leg and um, I had been to, uh, I had had x-rays, MRIs, and I had been to an orthopedic and they were recommending cortisone shots. Cortisone shots. And I had done physical therapy and had some relief, but I wasn't ready to just go ahead and jump into cortisone shots. So how many sessions of PT did you have? I had six weeks, twice a week. Twice a week. And from the time you started there to the time you sh ended there, what do you think your overall percentage of improvement was? Uh, probably, I probably went down to maybe like a hmm, 65, 75. It, it would get better and then it would get worse. Because when you came to see us, you were a hot mess. Yes. You, you couldn't even sit in your car. I couldn't. And that's the thing with the physical therapy that I, I did. That was up in New Jersey. And I did a right. three-hour car ride right. down here. Because you were up there for the summer, right? Right. Yeah. And it was torture, that yeah. sitting in the car. Mm -hmm. um, so I came in here and I started feeling better right away. Emery, what was it? Was it low back pain on and leg pain on the... Low, low back pain um, on the left side. And then it would radiate down the leg, all the way down to my ankle. Mm -hmm. And my toes were numb. After the first session with you, I started mm -hmm. feeling things in my toes again mm -hmm. that night. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah, so we examined her and she had extremely limited range of motion. She had some um, hypoesthesia that she couldn't feel, like she said, that one side as strong as the other side. But the good news was, you know, we didn't detect any muscle weakness. That was good. So after the exam, it's been a while, so what, what do we do? We, we so you did adjustments and you did the physical therapy, which was uh, very much in line with the exercises I was doing this summer, right. plus a little bit more of that, mm -hmm. and then um, you put me in traction. Traction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, made it, that was a game changer, wasn't it? Was. It was, yeah. yep. Yeah. So we did, we did spinal manipulation, we did um, spinal decompression or spinal traction, right? Mm -hmm. And we did, we started on, we, we probably didn't do physical therapy. Everyone, it was, did I use the word McKenzie with you? Oh, yes. Yes, so McKenzie is a uh, technique developed by a physical therapist back in, um, uh, it was New Zealand, I believe, a, a while ago. And we've incorporated that into our practice because it's so effective, right? And I think, did you do that at the physical therapist did office? Physical you did McKenzie there too, so that was good. And so what do you think was the difference that got you from the PT state of affairs to where you like you said, you, you drove up to New Jersey and you were, you were really physically active, you had something you had to do up there, you were active, you tweaked it again, but it calmed right back down. Mm -hmm. I think it's the adjustments, I think it's the traction, I think it's the regular, just the regular, um, just the, the work here. I mean, I know I was doing physical therapy twice a week up there, but without the adjustments, it just wasn't the same, well, it didn't have the same effect. Yeah. It, got you over the, it got you over the hump, sort of. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we do, we do a lot of physical medicine or physical therapy here, and sometimes it looks the same as a physical therapy, so sometimes it looks a little different. But I think when you combine those two together, you get a really synergistic, very That's positive right. effect. Yes. So the, the level of pain you have right now, do you still have pain? I have slight pain. It's more like a tingling down the leg. Right. And yeah. it comes and goes. It's yes. not all the time. So do you feel something every day still? Uh, maybe every other day. Every other day. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then do you feel it more than 50 or, or less than 50% of the time? Less than 50%. Less than, 50, less than 25 mm -hmm. Yes, it depends on the day. You see, I haven't seen Emory for a, a, a week. Yeah. One of the other doctors took care of her. So I'm doing a little bit of update for myself here, too, with you. So less than around 25%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Zero is no pain, two, three is mild, four, five is moderate. When you first came in, that was probably a six, seven level pain. Yes. What is the least amount of pain you have now, and what is the most amount of pain? Uh, there are days when I have no pain. Yeah, so that's awesome. And then the most pain I would have, I would say, Maybe a two? Two, two. So I want to check to see something. I don't know if we've done this or not, but I want to see if we've shifted gears a little bit here. Yes, we have, so that's great. And we really started that real early on. So not only are we doing McKenzie, which is a movement pattern, movement preference, but we also started on some core stabilization. Because that's really, 
that's what we need to get really solid core to help you get to the point where you don't need this anymore, okay? So I know in the beginning we were only adjusting one side because that produced fruitful results. Mm -hmm. Let's have you just bend to the left for me, if okay. you will. And I, I do this for me. Come on over here so, you, so everyone can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go ahead, bend that way for me. Any discomfort at all? No, a little, a little stiff. Now go this way for me. How's that? Same. Same. <laughs> so when you go to the right, do you feel it on the left? Go to the right. I do. I feel a little bit on the left. Yeah. Now, now go to the left. I feel it on the left. <laughs> you feel it on the left. Which way is there? Go one more time. I want to pay attention. Yeah, now go back the other way for me. Yeah. So she, when she first came in, I thought she had, now I'm being technical with you all, I thought she had a central disc. And then about oh, two weeks ago, you threw me a curveball. She went from a central disc to more of a lateral disc. Remember? Mm -hmm. So, and, and, I had, and I checked her every time she comes in, so I'm, I make sure I'm going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. so, so let's have you lie facing me this way, everyone. Okay. And I think this is the way we started mm -hmm. when you first came in. Mm -hmm. that? So, I think over, over, I guess after doing it about 35 years, I realized that uh, early on that if I had a certain type of disc, I needed to do the adjustment in a certain way. If, if I did that, I got great results. If I didn't do that, I got, I got reasonable results, but not as, not as well as uh, isolating just one move, if that made sense to anybody. What do you do for a living? I'm a second grade teacher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, had you gone, were you getting enough relief so you go back to school? Because I know you were, you were just getting open back up. Again. Just starting school when yeah. I came and I thought, I can't do my job if I'm in this kind of pain. Yeah. You know, I can't. So. Have you missed any work since you've been coming here because of? No. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's huge. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll you towards me and I'll be in control again. I want you to let this loose and I'm going to tap you on your hip a little bit and relax. Beautiful. Now, was that uncomfortable at all? Not at all. No, on your back one. That's great. So now straighten your legs out. So we're going to do long axis traction of the legs and that's really to take some stress off the hip, right? Just so she doesn't compensate. Oh, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring you up, just get, get tall, get okay, up tall. And so with Anne-Marie and, and all just patients, I want to see what happens to her movement pattern after I adjust you. So go ahead and I'll let you come over here for me. Mm -hmm. Now, let's have you bend to the right for me now. Yeah. Now go to the left. Yeah. So to me, I'm going to leave, that, that's what I meant by taking the right side only. And I don't need to adjust the other side right now because I've got better motion to the left, but I also got better motion to the right by not even touching the right because I still feel like she's got primarily a central disc. Okay, all right. Anything else you want to share with us? No, okay. No? Yeah, yeah. I, well, how much I love it here. It's been a game changer. It's been a life. It's been a life-changing experience for me that I've been able to feel better without having um, injections, without having any kind of surgeries, and nothing like that. I feel like I'm in control because of you all. Well, and, and I think to take my head off to you, you have done. You have. You are an ideal patient. You do your home. You do your homework. You do the exercises at home. You do them here, even though it may take you a little bit longer before you get out of here. And you've been consistent with your care, and, did, and, and you take care of yourself when you're, your daily activities. You become very aware what to do and what not to do. So you get a lot of the credit, too, for, the, for your consistency. So thank you, Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you.